Hi, my name is Larry Borowski. Welcome to Green Slate & Company. Today we're going to be talking about our STF 250, our screw test fixture again. Um, but this time we're going to be doing drive testing and drive torque testing. Now drive testing is the ability of a screw <clears throat> to drive itself into a test plate without deforming any of the threads. Um, drive torque testing is essentially the same thing, only while that driving is being done, it cannot exceed a certain torque value. First thing we have to do is we're going to have to gather our equipment together. We're going to start out with our STF 250, our screw test fixture. We're going to grab our test plate holder, drop that into the channel. Um, then we're going to have test plates. Now test plates, these are something, um, they come in basically all shapes and sizes basically. Um, the standards call out for every type of tap tapping screw that there is out there, they call out a particular hole size, a particular thickness, and a particular hardness of the metal that they have to drive through. So this one today we're going to be doing a number 10 uh, sheet metal screw, so we've got our test plate TP10 for this test. But we got our test plate. Um, we're also going to grab our drive bit because our, our fasteners again have a number two Phillips driver. And then we're going to either need a torque wrench if we're doing the drive torque testing or some kind of power driver if we're doing just the drive testing. Alright, our first test today we're going to show our drive torque test. So we have, we've gotten our test plate everything's set up, we start our screw off, just kind of set it in the hole, if it stays there that's good, if not we'll reposition it. <clears throat> but we take our, our head and we lower it to right around where we need it. We do our fine, get that set in there, fine tune everything. <clears throat> the biggest thing you want to make sure is that you are, you are straight up and down this way as well as this way. That's what helps the STF uh, do its job. We're down inside the recess, we zero out our torque wrench, and we begin to turn the fastener into the plate. All the while you want to just kind of keep this wheel kind of, it doesn't have to be tight tight but you just want to make sure that it follows <clears throat> and the highest torque we've gotten so far we're up to 40 inch pounds what we're trying to do is to determine the maximum torque that's going to take <clears throat> to bring this fastener all the way through the plate and you can tell right now it is getting easier so we that kind of tells us that we are actually through the plate <clears throat> through the worst of it basically we can back this this off and what we want to do is check the back side of the plate as well to make sure that the, the threads have not deformed we've got our maximum torque value of 45 up here <coughs> and that's a successful test. Okay, the next uh, test that we were going to look at was just a regular old drive test. Basically, we're not concerned with torque at this time. We are just looking at the ability for the screw to drive into the test plate, the appropriate size test plate. Um, for that, all we really need is just a power driver of some kind, a driver bit, and we can get in the hole there. And Try to drive it in. <clears throat> we look at our threads. Um, nothing's deformed. The only problem with doing that is many times, I don't know if you can see that, but you've got, it, it's not the straightest thing. Um, what, the, what the STF does is helps you get that screw in, into the hole straight. So let's, we'll give it a test. <clears throat> That screw out, and we'll show you what the STF can do to help help us out with that 
straight is from <coughs> so we'll start our screw <coughs> lock that in we can get our driver adjusting tool and just We can start the fastener in there. You can actually do a bunch of them right in a row. It's a nice, it's a nice fixture because, like I said, you get to pick up everything on a straight line. keeps engaged, you don't strip out your recess, you can drive it straight, all you got to do is make sure you follow in with your wheel. <clears throat> and that's enough for now, when you're, as long as you get them started, you can then actually remove this if you really wanted to. to get right in there and <clears throat> and finish off your drive test. And again, your <clears throat> our screws are straighter. We've got no deformed threads. Looks like we've got another successful test. Thank you for joining us today for our drive test and or drive torque test using our STF 250. Continue to check our website or come back to our YouTube channel at any time as we update our testing procedures and special instructions for gauging and testing of fasteners. Thank you.